Hi, beautiful soul. Thank you for being here. Mostly in the moment with me, Mystic Mia Moshe, for another love pick a card reading. We're looking at how they feel about you and how they feel about your life right now. We have four piles. You may choose a pile based on the number, the image, or the crystal that resonates with you. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for all the likes, comments, subscribing, and all the beautiful, beautiful, kind words and support. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for helping me achieve my goals for the channel and for my career and for my life. Uh, reaching 10,000 subscribers this summer. I hope that my divinely channeled messages are helping you along with your goals in life. And with that, I hope you enjoy the reading and I wish you much love and light. Hi, Pile 161 with the Selenite. Let's see what your person thinks about you romantically right now. Oh, okay. So this card came out in reverse. I do want to make things right with you. Give me th that opportunity. Because it came out in reverse, I'm guessing that they're so mad that they aren't getting an opportunity to make things right with you. I never imagined so much perfection. Yeah, so I feel like it's like an out, outside influence. Like it could be time, it could be work situation, it could be like, you know, a scheduling situation. They're always so busy with work or something. Um, they have people depending on them, family, friends, co-workers that I'm getting that they're angry that they're not able to have the opportunity to make things right with you yeah they do feel that they're like they're the reason they're getting so angry is because they're feeling like they're missing out on a once in a lifetime opportunity with someone who is like just so perfect death card yeah this is this is the moment of truth when they realize they have to make a choice in life with about like what is important like they had to prioritize and this is their ultimate test they have to choose between you and the other things going on in their life and i do feel a sense of anger and dread and they know this is like a breaking point where they have to make a decision do i put energy and effort into this person you or do I continue to live in a life where I don't even have a second to do the things that I want to do or the things I know that are good for me or, you know, things that are important to me? Okay, so how do they feel about your career or your life's work right now? How do they feel about what you do? Just in reverse. And the Three of Cups. Okay. So they have this feeling that you know you're not doing the right thing for you or you you know you're not doing something that like you're extremely proud of um, but you're enjoying the perks of this career or lifestyle or whatever it is that you're working on because of the people involved you like in, like hanging out with them you like having fun you like the money that you make or something like that yeah strength they they think they believe that you don't have like the strength to kind of do what's right for you okay what do they think how do they feel? Five of air. They feel that you are um, like fighting within yourself to kind of keep going in every day, I'm getting. Keep doing this kind of job or going into this career further and further. 
Um, they think you that you might like need some more time to yourself or ha- like you know fun activities, hobbies, more time to socialize and hang out with your friends more and more because of how you don't feel so great about what you do or like you're doing it just for fun. It's not like oh, your life purpose or anything. Is there anything more significant about that? How do you feel? I feel like you already told them this though. I think they they feel this about you because you already told them something along those lines. So... So there's that. Um, how do they feel about that? Uh, I feel like they're like, I don't really have anything. I don't really have a right to say anything about that or feel any sort of way. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, like, I feel that they are, you know, they don't have the strength to kind of change course in their career. But, like, I don't really have to, I can't really say much about that because I feel like they're in a similar situation or they were for a very long time or something like that. So, or, like, you were honest about it. So it's kind of like, oh, you're already aware. You're they appreciate it more, and they find you more appealing because you are so aware and you understand your life in a in a higher perspective. Okay, so what do they think about your family and friends? What do they think about your family and friends? Queen of Fire in reverse. So I feel like. They, they feel like your family and friends are, like, not really, like, go-getters. They're kind of... Like, more, more people... Like, people who kind of, like, follow the rules and kind of just don't, like, sway from the norm. Yin. But they can't... Comp- I'm getting... They can't complain about that either because they're very nurturing. They're very... They have a lot of feminine energy, a lot of yin energy, where they're just kind of more, they're very kind, they're very open-minded, they're very loving. And so they're like, yeah, I can't really complain about that either, can I? Um, Caution. In the beginning, they were kind of like wary about this, like your family and friends, because what is this queen of fire? Because um, they felt like, oh, maybe they come from more humble beginnings and, you know, I have, you know, a status, a name, um, my family comes from money or some something like that. So they're like, they weren't sure how coming into a family that's like very loving and nurturing and like, you know, encourages the creative arts would like would be like. But now, they're worried that it's not going to make a good mother out of you, whether you're male or female. It doesn't matter because, like, we all have, like, there's a quote that my friend told me about, (laughs) quote from another person, I forget who, but it's like, you have to love like a mother and protect like a father protect like a mother and love like a father like you have to have all four of those qualities within you to be like kind of you know have be like a master of your emotions and be a really really good parent or partner or friend or anything like to have a really strong connection with someone else so it doesn't matter if you're a mother or father like you're gonna have points where you need to protect like a mother there's gonna be points where you need to protect like a father there's gonna be times where you need to love like a mother and there's gonna be times that you need to love like a father and different like variations and you know both people will kind of figure out what their roles are going to be more pertain like what your role as a parent going to be more of um towards your child whether you already have children that are small grown um have kids of their own or um you don't have children you don't want children you you are planning to have children doesn't matter they feel like you don't have 
a really good strong feminine energy within you and so that that's still kind of back in their back of their minds a little bit that still kind of prevents them kind of from kind of thinking of how they could be with you and that could be like totally just in their own heads it could be not true but let me see what spirit has to say about this love your story or create a new one so they're kind of in the mindset that like you are your parents and they believe because you might have toxic femininity in your family they might not like how your mother or grandmother or whoever raised you with the feminine energy um they they kind of don't like that kind of energy in a potential relationship with you or a potential um situation of having kids or even me moving forward even if you're in a relationship with this person like they might not totally agree with your parenting style or they might want to change it but they don't they might they might fear that you're going to become your parent you know that you're going to become your mother or your father and so this is on them this isn't about you they need to know that if they don't like how their life is going that they can create a different life um yeah it's kind of like one of those things like we all have the potential to become our parents or we can have the potential to become like the opposite of our parents or like a mix of both and you'll find that like you'll you'll look into the positive qualities that your parents or parents figure has and the negative qualities and you'll kind of work on the negative qualities and emphasize your better qualities break take their good qualities and teach it to your own kids or teach it to your own like people in your life and be very wary of their negative qualities in yourself and other people and it's just kind of like you know it's a great mirror their, your parents and they might not understand that you don't have to have the same lifestyle as your partner's family vibes never lie that's from your side so i i consider cards coming out this way to be their energy and cards coming out that way to be yours and so yours and your energy is this vibes never lie queen of wands in reverse again what is that saying new beginnings it's like yeah you know what we don't have to be this we don't ha I don't have to be the same mother that my mother was or we don't have to have the same kind of family style as my family like whoever said that I wanted to have that kind of um lifestyle with our future or our future family or future community either like why are you getting this like what makes you think I want to be anything like that or you know that our life is going to be complete. What's making you scared? So it's kind of. I'm, like, and I'm getting kind of from you like. Not only am I not going to be like my family completely. But like I'm not going to be like. What people are. Like the standard for. Femininity is in society in general. So. Like it, it's kind of surprising to you I'm getting. Because it's like. Not only do you not model yourself. After your family family or the feminine energies in your family but you don't model yourself off, off of the feminine energy in society as a whole so it's like I, i'm getting from you that you're kind of shocked and in awe because 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 they're so off um in this in this arena it could be your friends too but i feel like it's more your specifically mother energy Yep. Okay, so money and material possessions. So how do they feel about your money situation and your material possessions? Happy, happy. Okay, 
So they like your taste in style, the things that you buy. They think you're very responsible. They're happy with, you know, your money sense, how much you make, how much you have the potential to make, what you spend things on. Okay, so they're happy about that. Uh, they feel like you don't work. Yeah, you're very, like, secretive. About what you do for work, how much money you make. You don't really tell too many people. So they're, they're, they're also happy that you kind of let them in on your financial situation and you know your inner workings they love looking at how you consider purchasing something or you know how your mind works when it comes to buying anything maybe do a lot of research maybe um, you get inspired by one thing you buy to get another thing um but not they feel like lucky to know the side of you because you don't let too many people in on this so yeah okay all good with that stuff and then your personality an outward image and reputation how do they feel about that two of wands okay and the wheel of fortune Okay, so you might be coming out. The Two of Wands is the door, the Wheel of Fortune of something happening right now. When a card comes out that's like like the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, or something that indicates like something is happening right now and it's in reverse, like that to me means that something is happening like this instant, like maybe even today. Maybe it happened yesterday, two days ago, it will happen tomorrow or two days from when you're watching this. So I feel like you are walking through a door and they see that you are maybe changing how you present yourself outwardly. Yeah, I'm getting the song like I'm coming out. So I feel like you're ready to like make moves. You're doing big things. And they're happy about that because it, it reflects well on them that there was someone who is so ready to kind of level up or um, glow up, take the next step, make big moves in their life. You know, maybe you get a promotion, maybe you get you you get a lot of attention on your social media or something like that, or that's about to happen. And they're really happy about that. It makes them look good. They're like it's a good reflection on me that I like someone like you. I imagine you naked. I'm getting like they have like they set, set like you're, you know, getting more comfortable with the with who you really are, and they like it. Now is not the time. What is that about? Mm, they don't want something to happen. What don't they want to happen? I have a lot of gratitude for you. Oh, they ha they have a feeling that like because you're about to kind of, I don't know, receive a really grand opportunity, blow up, get a lot of attention, get a promotion or something of that sort, really feel more confidence, uh, maybe... You lost a lot of weight maybe you've you know changed your style maybe you're becoming more social making more friends um, building up your community doing more work outside the home um, hanging out with more people outside the connection they're afraid that you're gonna you're gonna tell them like oh i'm so grateful that you're in my life but maybe we should just be friends or maybe you know we should date other people or maybe we should kind of 
spend less time together or maybe that will just happen naturally so they're not ready for that they like it for you and they think it's a good reflection on them but they're not ready to let you go I feel like they they liked having you around more or talk being able to talk to you more or something like that so they're not ready to let you go that's what I'm getting um and then how do they feel about a long-term commitment with you all right so how do they feel about a long-term commitment with you right now three of fire came out in hand they they want to move forward with you they definitely want a future with you but they're kind of hesitant of bringing that up why Because they think things will move more quickly. They see what's going on with you personally and how you're kind of leveling up and upgrading your life very quickly right this time. And they want a future with you, but they feel like you're on this kind of like fast track in life right now. And if they jump on board, that they will have to move through this relationship, level up in this relationship really quickly, level up in the connection really quickly sweetness ideation but they're kind of along for the ride because they're kind of in this really dreamy mode like you really opened up their minds and allowed them to kind of dream and hope for more and it's it's only um like a subtle fear and a little bit of their ego or shadow self popping up being like hey if I come into a stronger connection with them or come into a stronger commitment with them they might want to move things along very quickly and I don't know if like there's a slight hesitation I don't know if I'm ready for that I know I want a future with them but I don't know if I want it to move as quickly as they want it to but at the end of the day, they are projecting this like page of cuffs, sweetness, and ideation kind of energy where they are um, excited and they're daydreaming about all this stuff. Okay. This literally hit my lip, this card. I've been hurting without you. You have no idea. So I don't know if there was like an argument about commitment or if there was some um, long distance or separation, um, but it hit my lip. I haven't had a card hit my lip ever, <laughs> but I feel like that, that that's a sign that they want to say this to you. And because it actually hit my lip, I feel like they might say it sooner than rather than later. I'm coming, trust. Yeah, because they're coming with you. <laughs> and they're like, I'm, I'm with you for the ride. Like, I know things are happening fast for you. I know I brought up the issue of leveling up quickly or being in a commitment or, you know, getting to that next goal, but I'm with you. I'm coming with you. There's only a slight hesitation. It was only a slight hesitation in the past. Um, it was just like a natural fear that comes along with, you know, the chariot moving to the next thing very quickly. I might, it might be actually moving to the next goal very quickly. So it might be, you know, actually physically moving. Um, or like, like the six of wands, like actually moving to another location that's a little further away or going deeper in your emotions, um, having children, having a marriage, having um, some sort of leveling up in the connection that is that significant. Okay. All right. And last but not least, for its message for this pile. Two of Wands, it's time to plan and make a decision on how to bring your ideas or inspiration to fruition. Take some time to reflect on how you envision your next step to look as you choose your path forward. Yeah, so I feel like you are ready to kind of pick your goals, visualize them, and then move, take action, move on them right away. And they're kind of on board. They might take a second or two. But they're there. They were always there. Um, yeah, and they're, I feel like they're on board and they're, they're in this Two of Wands energy with you. 
right? So I hope you resonate with the reading. If you did, I really appreciate a like or comment. It really, really helps me out with my goal for the channel and my career of reaching 10,000 subscribers by the summer. And um, yeah, it, I mean, it, it's just one of those things that I used to pick like a, like five goals for the channel for my career at a time. And then I'm putting into practice what I've learned, which is from spirit, pick one goal and go after that at a time. Because if you try to manifest too many things at once, like it might take forever to manifest. So like pick one thing and just go for it. So although I want to do a Patreon and extended readings and uh, I want to, you know, make my other channel public, um, one step at a time. <laughs> so I hope my divine channeling is helping you with your goals in life. Um, I love people sharing their goals and their um, messages that resonates with the readings because I feel like a lot of people, other people read it and it inspires them as well as it inspires me. Um, but yeah, I'll shut up now. <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light. Hi, pile 373 with the blue argonite. Let's see what your person feels about you right now, romantically. I thought about having a family with you. Okay, wow. So we have a theme for this reading. Yeah, they thought about, you know, getting married, settling down, putting down roots, making babies or adopting pets, adopting children, or maybe adopting yours or each other's or... Um, being a family even if you have older children um making a community really getting involved with each other's family and friends and really just having a really nice home with a lot of people that you two feel connected to equally you liking their family and friends they liking your family and friends and really being involved in each other's lives and the connections that you two have in each other's lives wrongful advice and I think we should see other people okay I'm getting because this card came out first which is like the main energy I feel like someone is giving them wrong advice and that you know they should be with someone else someone who gets along with the family more or you know who has better friends or something like that um or they feel that you are hearing it from your friends and family about them that they you know they're not the kind of person you know that's, they're not like a family person or you know they wouldn't get along with your family or friends as well or something like that okay how do they feel about romantically with you page of air so they're trying to bring this up they might bring this up in conversation a lot, but I feel like they don't always bring it up in the nicest way. And it's because it's on their mind a lot and they want to kind of express it to you, but they don't always say it the right way. They kind of just blurt it out, but I feel like they need to talk to you about it. They just don't know how to say it. Come to the edge. They're not willing to kind of budge on this topic. They really don't know what to do about it because they feel like, they kind of feel like whoever's saying this, your family or their family, your friends or their friends, might have a point. They're like, oh yeah, well if I were in their shoes and I was your friend or your family member and I cared about you, I might be saying the same thing. Like if our kid came home with someone like me, I might have questions too or something like that. So how are they feeling about you romantically? Peace, but it came out face down. This is more of an external issue. Everything between the two of you and how they feel about you is kind of really peaceful. It's just kind of gnawing in 
in their mind like expectations your family or friends might have of them or expectations their family and friends may have on you. That's the only real kind of issue here, if any. Yeah, uh, Six of Wands that fell under uh, the table, under the seat. So I'm getting, that's like, you two are really good. <laughs> you two are victorious. And everyone knows it. Like, Six of Wands is public recognition, public um, celebration of success. So you two are really good. And so whoever's saying this is kind of wrong, but they might be really close to you or that or your person. And so it kind of messes with their heads a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with you two. Actually, you two are very successful. So it's just kind of either, it's, yeah, it's their inner work to kind of get over it. But you can't get mad at them for that because everyone has their own inner work to get through. And you two are good. You don't have nothing. You don't really have anything to worry about. It's just their kind of inner work that they have to work through of feeling like their family and friends are judging you or your family and friends are judging them. I'm reading for a lot of people, so it depends on your situation. Oh my goodness. Six of Wands and came out so fast and it sat right next to me on my seat. So I'm getting that like very soon. Very soon you'll have evidence that like, yeah, things are good. Because sometimes, you know when things are good and then like one tiny issue comes up and it's not even an issue, you might make, you have, might have the tendency to make that like molehill into a mountain. I'm getting this what this is. And then they start kind of spinning like, wait, is this a bigger deal? Like, am I doing the right thing? And you start questioning it too because they're talking to you about it. And then you both kind of have a situation where you find out like, no, you two are actually good. And then you're both like, okay, no, it's not us. This person is crazy. So I feel that's what's happening here. Spirit is bringing in a confirmation for the both of you that no, stop it. Stop spinning. Whether it's you or this person or both of you, nothing's wrong. This connection is good. Whoever is saying, oh, you should see, you know, you should date other people. Are you sure this person is right for you? They're the ones in the wrong. You might have trauma or they might have trauma just from dealing with someone who's like so important to them. You know, it kind of sucks when you have someone who's like a important family member or a good friend kind of judge the person you're with because you are you hold that person to such a standard. Like they have such a high value in your life that when they say something negative about your life, you kind of second guess yourself even though you know this is right. So it's kind of just maybe awakening to the fact that maybe less of this person's influence would be healthier for you or for them, or at least when it comes to relationships. Okay, so what? We're going to go through career, friends and family, money, your personality, and your commitment with you, how they feel about all these things. I'm going to try to go through them really quickly get to the main point all right so career and life's work how do they feel about your career and life's work ten of, ten of earth okay they feel like they can provide you with everything that you need so they're, they're not worried about it and they don't want you to worry about it either cleanse I just <laughs> I, the reason I paused there for a second after the ton of earth is because I had like two decks in my hands and I, like, I was running out of space around me I have like decks all over me all over around me and it's just kind of like that's not a real problem you know <laughs> like that's like the reading's going well I have decks that I can pull from you know I'm happy with the career that chose me and that I also chose. It's like not having a place to put your pot, like my decks down in the middle of this reading is not even an issue. So I feel like anything that comes up in regards to your career, they're like, don't worry about it or your life's work. Um, they're like, don't worry about it. 
like I can take care of you the things that you worry about in terms of your work or life's work it it's not even important like I'm gonna give you the ability to allow you to kind of take it more easy do the more important inner work like they feel very like important they feel like they want to like take care of you in a way where you can just focus on like they can do like the physical stuff they can take on more responsibilities or chores they can cook more they can clean more they can take care of the money more whatever it is with your situation so you have the time to do the cleansing that you need They feel like you're a very interesting person and they don't want like a dull career to kind of dull you out. The emperor, yeah, they're willing to be the breadwinner or someone who takes care of you, takes care of the home more or takes care of more responsibilities in the, in the partnership more or more of the physical responsibilities because they might really value what you bring to the table outside of physical and material things. So, you know, whether you're male or female and you take on more of the male or female, you know, typical roles, they're like, I, let me take on more of this kind of stuff so you can be the more interesting person that you always are. You don't become dull. You're more fun to hang around with when you're emotionally balanced and when you figure, you know, I feel like you have a lot of things that you need to fix emotionally with family or maybe you're going through a hard time. Maybe you just went through a difficult time. Maybe you just lost a job or something like that and lost a family member and they're like, I want you at your best. Let me take on more so you can kind of have more time to just do your inner work and be the very interesting person that you are like that gives me life that makes me want to do more for you all right so how do they feel about your friends and family well we got a taste of that in the beginning treasure island in reverse i feel like they feel that your friends and family are kind of blocking you from your highest potential or like actual physical rewards like maybe you have the potential to do really well in your career or make a lot of money or um be really well known or get your you know work out there more if your family and friends weren't kind of blocking you or something yeah stop movement are you kidding me stop movement like literally it's where it's like we're gonna be very clear because this is a thing. This is an actual real thing. Your family and friends or specific ones may be preventing you from your treasure island, from your abundance, your positive abundance. Um, and they, they know this. They can pick up on this, your, your person. They know it. The tower card. Yeah, they feel like something is about to change in your life very drastically. And they can sense it. Is it going to affect the connection? They can sense it too. They can sense it too. So if you have been feeling like something is about to change in your life. Um, let's see. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Again, this is falling. This fell under the seat. So it's kind of like this has been a long time coming. You've been sitting on this kind of like a lot of money, a lot of abundance, a lot of health, a lot of success in your career in your line of work in your home in your life they feel like something has is going to come it's coming very soon or maybe has just happened i don't know if you heard that long beep but that is a very good confirmation from spirit that yes it's been a long time coming because that was a long honk and very singular and focused like yeah for sure this has been a long time coming it might have just already happened in your life or you might be feeling it's about to come very soon okay so it's so funny because when people like honk like that and i hear all the time at this intersection um 
it's usually because like like for example um I was moving on to I was taking a turn onto my street and it was night and there was like a couple walking um across the street on the side um on the pedestrian crosswalk and so I waited um on the street until they cross so I can like you know pull into my street and then they can, they can safely cross the street but the car behind us was honking very loud and the couple that was walking was just like hey calm down like they're stopped on the street because they're waiting late letting us cross the street before they turn onto the street and the car behind was just giving attitude and it's just like you know how like they're, they're probably so embarrassed that, that they were honking and didn't see the people crossing and didn't realize that that's why they stopped and you know, they're just yelling things because they're very immature, right? They're just, like, dumb people um, who can't just, like, own up to what they did wrong. You know, be like, oh, sorry, didn't see that or something, you know? They're just like, well, blah, 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 I'm an immature, stupid person. I have to make excuses for my wrongdoings and being short-sighted and, you know. And right now, that honk, um, I just heard the two people kind of talk it out. I was like, oh, sorry. I like, I thought you were just like, you didn't see me and like, you were kind of stuck or something. It's like, oh no, yeah, I was backing out or something like that. And they're like, oh yeah, well, you're good. I'm like, okay, cool. And they just talked it out and they're very mature about it because like, even when we have those like fits of anger, it's like, it's like how, like things are going to happen in your life. It's like how you respond to it shows like your maturity it shows who you truly are um so I feel like (laughs) with all of this drama that just happened outside um that you're about to have a tower moment something like that where you're going to be tested with an opportunity to get your treasure island to get your abundance Because this person is like so willing to kind of do everything for you, give their entire life to kind of supporting you and helping you physically, and you um, get this opportunity to get your own abundance um, very powerfully by unblocking the thing that was stopping you from getting this, you're going to reach that abundance. And you're going to bring that abundance to your partner. How are they going to feel about that? How are they going to feel about that? Four pentacles. All right. Let's start saving or let's start investing in something together. That's beautiful. Okay. How are they? What is this going to be? The tower. Hmm. End of a cycle, someone that's around a lot, neighbor, roommate, someone that lives close by. You can decode what that means for you. (laughs) But I feel like it's someone that's around you a lot or wants to have you around, like wants to have you around a lot, maybe lives with you or around you. But yeah, someone that lives close by, someone that is around you a lot. I'm going to pull one more card. What is the situation? What happens? The Empress. The fall I'm getting. The fall this empress in reverse came out in the last pile too and it was like toxic femininity fall of toxic femininity maybe um interpret that how you will let me see what spirit has to say about that speak your truth okay so i feel like you may have something to say that may not be With the tower card right here and the empress, it may not be what is considered the most popular opinion or view. Mm. 
of the people around you. <laughs> that makes sense. Of the, of the of your neighbors, of the community you live in, the neighborhood you live in, or the place that you live in, or the family that you live in, live with, or your, or your friend circle. It may not be a popular opinion, but you, you speak your truth. You pay your dues. And it's like a best blessing in disguise because it might suck in the moment to have this come up again. It's like a repeating cycle. So you might have been standing up for what you believe in for a very long time and you do it one more time and, you know, you still get a lot of lashback. But this time you get a book deal or you get a promotion or you get a work opportunity, a money opportunity or something like that. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so money, material, possessions. How do they feel about your money situation? About the things that you own? TikTok. Um, they feel like you don't waste your time. If there's something you need... Um, you don't waste your time to get it. You have a goal, you work hard and you get it, whether it's money or something, a, a, a tool or, a, you know, some sort of class or hobby or, um, you know, you need a new laundry machine or whatever it is, a new car, like you figure out your goal, you figure out how you're going to get it and you go for it and you might get it sooner than you expect and they're very I'm getting impressed by that we see a lot of this like brown muted green tones so they're in the abundance energy and everything so I'm getting this like in this red and green someone's keeping you separated to be that brown very grounded energy a lot of plants here yeah I feel like you have it within you to be masterful in the physical realm be very beautiful handsome healthy glowing very rich you know very yeah wealthy have have nice things have things that you need and also things that you want trust you always believe that you can have things that you can get things queen of cups the wheel of fortune i'm getting you, you didn't always trust the right people when it came to money career health situations but i feel like this time you're putting all your trust in someone or some opportunity or some situation one more time. And this time it's paying off. How does your person feel about that? They'll wait and see. They appreciate that you have a lot of trust in yourself and a lot of trust in like how you go about your business, your career, your job, your, you know, finances, like they, they trust that you know what you're doing and, or they at least admire what, you, that you have so much confidence <laughs> in what you're doing with your money and your career and your health. But they're like, yeah, well, I'll, I'll wait to see. Like, I'm kind of interested. I'm invested. I want to see how they, how they do their thing. I don't know if they will come out the other end or not, but you know, I think it's cool that they are, you know, willing to put themselves out there in these ways and you know believe in what they're doing is the right way of doing things king of wands right under the emperor they they're kind of stubborn and they feel like what, how they do things is the right way which is why they're like, oh, let me take care of you. You know, you're just an interesting person. Like, I feel like they think that your life is just kind of like a storybook and that you're just kind of like airy-fairy or very artsy or very like, 
chasing a pipe dream kind of person they like admire that They're like oh this is good to have in society just because you know stories wouldn't be stories books and movies wouldn't be interesting if there weren't actual people out there who did these things but they don't actually think it's real they don't actually think that these things actually happen in real life but they're interested because you have so much trust and confidence um and they won't have to wait for long TikTok, it's time wheel of fortune it's time like if things were to manifest if you're right about how to handle health situations money situations career situations you know i'm getting specifically those three things then time will tell and the time's up so you'll they'll they're like oh well if they're right i'll be able to see it if not you know i know that i'm, I'm right what if, what if you're not what if they're not right then they're like well i guess then i'll have a lot to learn and they like learning but they you know one they, they might be interesting to talk to about things that you try to get to the success that you're in but they might also be kind of um, unintentionally rude or harsh sometimes because they feel like they're on level one where you're on a level 100. Okay, so your personality and outward image and reputation, what do they feel about that? This card. It didn't really want to come up, but the High Priestess. So they feel like you're very, very intuitive. Intuition, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Intuition, yeah. They think you're extremely intuitive. You're highly spiritual or you're able to know things very well. Even if you're not into spirituality, you're able to deduct things very quickly. You might be a true crime fan or, you know, you like mystery books or movies and um, you like researching and learning about different things. That's why you practice a lot of things. You try things out for yourself in terms of health, money, and um, career because you have a very expansive mind, a very evolved soul. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of intimidation, which is natural. The emperor in hand. Um, they feel like they've met their match, but they, they, they don't want to admit it because they're so focused on more physical realm things that to meet someone who is so intuitive and still feel like they met their match and maybe really good with their physical things too, it they're not so willing to admit it. Oh, are you kidding me? This popped up, the high priestess again. Um, they're not so willing to admit it. The Knight of Cups. And reverse and face down on top of the king of wands that you might have a lot of admirers you might have a lot of people respect you for how you lead your life but they're they're not particular not specifically one of those fans admirers um, they do have a lot of love for you and they are romantic towards you and they have a lot of respect for you but maybe it not like only one side of things, the things that they understand, the things like they're very physical minded. So like maybe the way you think about purchasing an item or the way that you conduct yourself professionally or, um, you know, all the things that they see typically and respect typically, they respect in you, but they don't understand this whole other side. But they know that you're their match, so they're they're kind of like. Hmm. 
but they haven't really respected you for that. So this whole situation that happens, you might get a really big opportunity for money or career or both, success, a situation that kind of proves to you that you are on your right life path, this career is, like this relationship is going well, the life choices that you made are going well and they were they will fruit um more physical positive more positive physical abundance for you very soon but this person they can only see and respect one side of you because they don't they can't see and respect the other side sometimes to have trust and faith in someone, you need to be able to believe before you can see it. They need to see it before they can believe it. They're waiting to see if the things you said about yourself is true. The way you live life, the way you go about business and your career and health and everything. Um, and at the end of the day, it's going to be your call whether you want to be with someone like that because... They didn't really believe in you. And unless they kind of show that they are willing to change and evolve and grow and learn and understand these parts of you or at least a little bit or learn it from themselves, what, what interests them in this kind of lifestyle of possibilities or opening up their minds to the way you do career, life, business, health, go about money, abundance. Unless they show um, that they're willing to learn that side of you or their own version of that side of you, this person might bore you, <laughs> just to be honest. They might. Yeah, once you get this success, you might not want to be there anymore. Okay, how do they feel about a long-term commitment with you? How do they feel about a long-term commitment with you? Messenger of water. Okay, Knight of Cups. So they do want a long-term commitment with you. But they think you're there. they are so much better than you. Because they can't see your true power, your true strength. Um, you... Because it came out reverse and face down, you may be the one who might potentially think about leaving them because they just can't match the depth of your emotional complexity or your intellect or intuition or, you know. Yeah. I do feel like the option, the the choice is going to be up to you. But I feel both of you are going to feel like, uh, like how long, how much longer do we have with each other? How do they feel about long-term commitment with you? Sadness, yeah. I do feel a sense of like, they might feel very small next to you. They might feel you're going to leave them eventually. They might feel like you're going to leave them even now. Um, and both of you might know this, but kind of are still in a connection or still in a relationship, still talking to each other, even though you both feel like you're going to be moving on from this connection or, yeah. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it resonated, I really appreciate a like or comment. It really helps me with my goal for the summer, for this channel, and for my career of 10,000 subscribers. Um, I have a lot of other goals for this channel that I want to do, which is extended readings, which I used to do before on Vimeo, but Vimeo sucks. It takes like so much of your money, so don't do Vimeo. Um, and uh, I went to Patreon and I want to kind of announce my other channel that I've been working on for a long time and spirits it's like, you know, you manifest things quicker if you focus on one goal at a time 
And so I'm doing that. <laughs> and not, not just in my career, but in like everything in life. So yes, I hope I'm also helping you along with your goals with my divine, divinely channeled messages. And um, yeah, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light. Hi, pile fire. <laughs> Hi, pile five oh five with the clear crystal quartz. Let's see how your person is feeling about you romantically right now. You really have been by my side. I do see that. I do cherish you for that, but came out in reverse and face down. So I feel like this is like a past thing. This is a past feeling. So I feel like I feel like spirit is bringing this up because they do really believe that you are genuine, honest, honest to God, a goodness, true, truly angel-like presence in their life for as long as or short as you two were connected. And I feel like it's it's past its prime. I feel like it's kind of done between the two of you. Um, you might be holding on still, um, but they do really appreciate and have no negative negative thing to say about you about you coming into their life. Face down. I need time for me. So they might have not said this to you then or even now but they really couldn't even say this to you really because they were just focusing on themselves and you know I I wouldn't even truly blame this person because I feel like it wasn't like whether it was a very serious situation or not if it was a really serious situation between the two of you and things didn't you know continue or they just kind of ghosted you, or whatever happened. They stopped talking to you after a while. Like, yeah, it, in the ideal world, it'd be nice if people just kind of said their honest truth to the other person, especially if they have the intention of kind of cutting off that person because they believe it's not going to be, you know, they're not going to be good for you in the long term. And I've done this with uh, exes and family members and um, friends where I feel like I need some space and time from that person. So I'll just like literally tell them, you know, it's like I, I can't continue with this connection because I need to work on myself. I need to figure some things out or I need, you know, time to work on this specific thing. And like I have some friends that I talk to like maybe twice a year, you know, every six months or something because that's just how much energy I have. You know, it's like I, I can't keep up with this connection for more than that. Um, and I still some value some of those friends as like some of my best friends. It's just because like I'm that kind of person. Like I, I like to have a very limited, limited amount of people in my inner circle. And um, even if I talk to you maybe twice a year, that could still mean that you're one of my better friends. But I just spend so much time with my own inner work or with my own goals in life, my own hobbies or the people who are like immediately um, physically close to me, that that's just how it works out, you know? So I feel like you don't always have to tell people why you ghosted them or um, why you need some space or anything like that. You don't owe anyone any ex ex explanation, especially if you need that time. Like, if you're stressed about, you know, what that person might think if you don't appear at their event or something like that, their wedding or their birthday or this or that, it's like, who cares? If you need some spi space and time because some big things are happening in your life, you don't owe anyone anything. You owe yourself some time and space and healing. So, that's what I feel. I don't know <laughs> what that weird noise was. Um... It was like I'm getting, it felt like I was like getting choked up, but I'm not. <laughs> um, maybe it's like my inner child getting choked up. 
or this like past version of myself getting choked up being like it's okay it's okay that you took some time to just do what you needed to do like when you're like drowning like you don't have time to tell people like hey like i have this and that going on so please give me some time it's just like hey i'm gonna need some time i'll talk to you soon like you don't have you don't owe anything anyone to anything especially when you're drowning so i feel like that's how they were they're just like i need to go peace out and they just like left um but they really really appreciated you i cherished you for who you are your role in their life and you know the moments that you gave them isolation you may have been thinking of this person a lot because you're about to enter or you have recently entered a period of isolation it doesn't have to be complete isolation but it might be um maybe you left a job or maybe you moved somewhere new where you don't know too many people or anyone at all or maybe you're deciding to start a new challenge or start a new cycle of your life so you kind of want to spend time by yourself for a little bit maybe you've done a lot of healing just got out of a breakout breakup or maybe you finally feel good after a breakup and you're like i just need a you know a long vacation or i just need some time to myself whatever the situation is um you might this person might be coming up for you whoever this person is because you're like some people get so mad at me because they're like oh i didn't want my ex to come up or i didn't want like this see like you know this this didn't resonate with me it's like no i know who i am i divine the channel straight from source if you're getting this reading it's for you and um if you want to hear about that romantic love interest you want to like you know you're thinking about and crushing on too bad this is the person spirit's bringing up for you because this is the person that's most important to you right now and resonates so deeply and will change your life profoundly if you could just hear your angel's words right now sorry but sometimes you just gotta hear you know sometimes it's your best friend from the past sometimes it's a past over loved one sometimes it's an ex that you haven't thought about for a long time or don't want to think about or got over a long time ago and or maybe never got over whatever this whoever this person is to you like please just listen to spirit's message for you because it's not always about you know your crush or good feelings or whatever if you got this reading it's because you can handle this you might need to hear this because you're about to enter a uh, period of isolation so this is a f like a forewarning from spirit that like this person's gonna come up and you're gonna need some time to think about the situation okay so what is this situation This kind of like clipped my cheek a little bit. The Ace of Air. Yeah, you have a really profound, big opportunity coming to you very soon. And so Spirit is like trying to tell you like, okay, whoever you're crushing on, whatever date you're going to about to go on or whoever, like, whoever, like, whoever you're thinking about romantically or in terms of love, like whatever, this is more important. You have something big coming into your life and... It's going to be like a miracle and if you miss out on this girl or boy we can't help you you know like you're just going to miss out on a massive um opportunity of a lifetime kind of thing so it's very like because like so many people get mad it's like you're we want to hear good things about like the person who you like right now it's where it's like you have bigger things happening <laughs> like you have this huge massive miracle like opportunity coming into your life pay attention please there we go judgment there's the angel archangel gabriel okay so this is, has to do with your passion project some sort of creative arts maybe something to do with speaking writing music or some other creative talent something that expresses who you are something that uses your creative expression that is what's coming through very big and it's gonna really push you 
out of this feeling of uh, being like looked over you might feel like you're passed on opportunities that no good opportunities ever come to you like only small opportunities but everyone around you is getting big opportunities or you've been working for a long time and you you can't get that right situation or moment for you it's here spirit's letting you know it's here okay so no no crying no sobbing no feel, feeling pity for yourself or feeling like <laughs> i'm getting like mad that you don't have enough money or mad that you don't have the opportunities for the right job or career or right love like romantic love situation in your life or whatever like spirits like we heard you crying we heard your prayers suck it up it's coming get ready wipe those tears take a shower do your hair really nice get your outfit on we're here this opportunity is here five of five poised be on your best behavior we're going to make sure that you look and act and behave your best for when this opportunity comes through what is this opportunity career this is it this is it this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to do what you actually love doing so if you um love something that's kind of very unique or something that's very difficult to have success in or even a, uh, a foot through the door like a, even like a small opportunity in um this is it soul family and friends you're gonna it's gonna come through you through really really genuine people you might have felt like um nothing's really changing in your life and you're surrounded by the same people who also don't have the right opportunities who also are not winning the lottery who are also you know just kind of chugging along in life and not ever feeling completely themselves or completely in the career or life or in the right relationship or friend or family situation or something like that they don't have the right people or the right situations like right life around them this is your chance this is coming <laughs> this is probably why spirit's like okay forget about this person we have something more important to tell you okay um when is this coming twilight so i'm getting by tonight by tomorrow night or two weeks max that's coming very soon Okay, so let's get back to this person. <laughs> what does spirit feel? Okay, so what are they... Because we're going to go through career, what they think about your career, what they think about your friends and family, what they think about your money situation, what they think about your personality, and how they feel about a long-term commitment with you. But I feel like spirit has other things in mind for this specific pile. I'm sorry if you came for one thing and you're getting another thing. You can click off of it if you don't want to listen to this. You don't need to leave any negativity or hate. This is an angelic message. And it's for those who um, want to listen to it with their angelic ears. Um, if you want to hear more about how this person that is not even relevant to you in your life anymore is feeling and thinking about you, then you can maybe find another tarot card reader who's going to you know, sell you lies. But I'm here tell you there's something coming up in your life that's going to be very important life-changing and if you clicked on my reading on my channel that's very high vibe you're probably one of those people that knows what i'm talking about and um this message is for you okay career life's work page of fire this person that you're thinking about, they weren't even close to having the amount of courage, bravery, boldness, the skill sets, natural abilities, and talents, and dreams and goals as you. Not even close. Brand new life. Okay. 
So, spirit wants to go in a different direction. Um, yeah, you you have a huge opportunity coming towards you for something that's going to last you for a long time, a career that's going to last you for a long time, be very stable for you in terms of money, in terms of security as well. Balance. Why is balance coming out? Lovers, yeah. So this could be like a divine counterpart, soulmate, twin flame kind of situation. Yeah, because under the soul family and friends. So this person could have been a very like deep soul connection to you. And so that's why you kept, you keep thinking about them or have th thought about them a lot. Um, but this opportunity is going to give you what? This opportunity is going to give you soulmates. Wow, with the lovers. Um, the opportunity to meet a true divine counterpart, a true soulmate, someone who's here now and not in your past that doesn't even really think about you anymore. I'm sorry. Sorry if this is a little... But it's like... If you're on this pile, like you either need to hear that because you're starting that journey of, hey... Let's be real now. Let's get into the real world. We create a lot of fantasies and stories in order to kind of heal. And it's not untruthful, but sometimes um, once your healing is done, you start to come back to um, where everyone else is. <laughs> um, so... When you come back to where everyone else is, you're going to recognize that there is a divine counterpart right here for you right now, ready to pop into your life. What does spirit have to say about this? Release toxicity and it came out in reverse. I feel like this is coming from you. It might be time for you to release toxicity. What does that mean? Home. Yeah, with the five of pentacles in reverse here and the home card in reverse here. Yeah, what you thought was your home that you were like, hey, this is, you feel comfortable here, you know, with the people around you, with the career that you have, with the people, like, with the grocery stores that you're used to, the coffee shops that you're used to, with how things work. Um, you've been doing it for such a long time that it's become familiar to you, it's become your home, but it's never it's never been your home. You've always wanted more, and now you have the opportunity for more. You said you wanted something more, and Spirit's giving you an opportunity for it. If you don't take it, that's on you. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. You don't get it twice. Um, okay, so friends and family situation about your friends and family situation why so because you're coming into a lot um a soulmate and maybe more soul family and soul friends um it might help that's why this person's coming up that you've been thinking about because they might have been your twin flame they might have been your a really high level soulmate they might have been um, a very strong karmic or or some a, a very like profound soul connection in your physical life so now you're going to start questioning a lot of the close connections you have in life and why they are in your life and what purpose they, they serve so that's why this person is coming up for you happiness yeah this new start is going to bring you a lot of happiness it's going to make you very happy that you have this opportunity to 
to kind of be with more people who are like you, I'm getting. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. In a very stable way, because I feel like you've met a lot of people, like even this person who came into your life for a very short time, or you had like very small moments with this person romantically, or in a kind of in the same with soul mate level friendships, soulmate level family relationships, soulmate level co-workers and like-minded people. It might have been like just like bursts of them or you've seen them for a short time, hung out with them for a short time. This gives you an opportunity to have soulmates and families and soul family, soul friends and a soulmate that stays around with you for a long time that has a lot of stability and security in the physical for you which makes you very happy and gives you a lot of time to review the judgment card why these other people in your life were in it that's why this person comes up because i feel like it's a twin flame energy okay so family i'm sorry family this is family friends money and material possessions so what's going on with your money and material possessions oh my goodness a tower card yeah a big change is happening big opportunity surprising change of events it's gonna be really confusing at first because even the way you like thought you were going like even the way that you thought you're working towards even the things that you thought you were working towards in life in terms of your life goals your spirituality your looks even your um, relationship with others how you portray yourself to others that's going to change as well so even though you might have been thinking hey i want this kind of lifestyle or i want this kind of career or i kind of i want to look this way i want to have these kinds of connections in my life those things might change too so although you're working for working towards life and goals that you thought were more you and more in a more evolved version you might see that those goals and lifestyles that you're have the opportunity for now might be different on the same caliber the same level like you're definitely leveling up but it might look different than what you thought initially okay so yeah eight of swords eight of swords two eight of swords yeah it's gonna be confusing uh, this tower moment you're not sure where things are gonna land how things are gonna go see how you're feeling like how we sh shift the focus to you protection in reverse it's gonna feel like you're not protected because you're leaving your home you're leaving things that you are comfortable with um have known for a very long time and um you're going to the unknown where you don't know how things are going to be But I feel like doing this like kind of review work, you in, in doing this review work when this tower moment happens, like why the people that were in your life, why what was their purpose? Why were they in your life? And recognizing how evolved you are, how much you've grown, how much you've worked hard on yourself, um, knowing how far you've come in that sense. Is going to make you feel very secure that you are going down the right path even though it's a little scary and you don't know where that is or how it's going to look okay so how do they feel about a long-term commitment with you well let's bring up this person because it's the lovers and soulmates so there's someone coming in for sure sure how do they feel about a long-term commitment with you empowerment that's so key okay so that Russell Brand interview that I listened to recently on that like Diary of a CEO podcast, um, he was talking about like uh, relationship should empower you. Or like things that are good for you, like make, makes you feel empowered. So this person 
empowers you and you empower this person compassion both of you are on this like high level of compassion for other people for the world we speak the same language I'm getting okay I'm going to see what spirit's advice is for you because this went in a completely different direction first of all what is this tower moment in regards to I think you're going to have a huge change in your reputation because electronic social media media so i feel like you can have a complete change in reputation and you might not know how that might work for you because if in the beginning it might feel like it's working against you a friend but then i feel like you meet people who are on board with what you have to say, your viewpoints. You might be trendsetting over here. You might be doing something very unique. Maybe bring out your true personality for the first time or bring out your complete personality for the first time or um, what's going on here? Major property and assets. An acquaintance, so I keep getting a friend, acquaintance, so family and friends. You might get this opportunity, many friends, yeah. You might get an opportunity to meet a new friend, a new soulmate, or maybe just a new friend and a soulmate, or many friends, so family and soul friends, many families. Acquaintance. I feel like a lot of people come into your life through social media or some sort of way online or something. Maybe you find out a s specific event or, I don't know, like a local coffee shop where you can meet lo like like many people, a local bookshop or something. Someone coming back. Status tile network legacy yeah I, th I feel like you're gonna get a lot of recognition you might blow up on social media and at first people might not maybe attacking you but then the next day it's like oh wait there's so many people out there who agree with you or are standing up for you um and i feel like your like status changes You gain property ma mass. Okay. So you might get like your own business or your business like blows up or you get an opportunity for a different kind of lifestyle. People kind of judge you on that. Hey, you have success. Why are you using that success to buy a nice home or something like that? Or why are you using this attention to bring... Um, attention to this opinion this other opinion that people don't agree with or something what's coming back this person might even come back because they see you somehow on social media or through like you know in some way like that at the actual event or on tv or um through a friend's post or something like that or your own post something like that so this person might even comment this person how funny but i feel like you meet a lot of people gives you a career opportunity major assets okay let's see what spirit has the last card what spirit's advice is for you Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. And it came out in reverse. So you're feeling trapped and powerless within your own mind, bound by former beliefs or patterns that make you feel there's no escape from present circumstances. Free yourself by shifting your perspective. So I feel like you might have felt trapped and that there was no escape. 
not too long ago but you finally release that and you're finally opening yourself up to more opportunities giving yourself hope and feeling happy about the decisions you're making going forward in life so it's really intensely and proud of you for the kind of inner work that you've been doing and oh wow it's so spirit's giving you the world one aspect of your journey has come to an end take a moment to look back at how far you've come what you do review why Take a moment to look back at how far you've come, everything you've learned, and how you've grown and transformed. Get ready for the next exciting chapter. Travel might be on the horizon for you. Embrace the opportunity for expansion as you experience new cultures and meet new people. New people. A new culture just might be like new lifestyle, maybe some parts of the lifestyle that you wanted that you weren't, like, you know, you didn't really think about details about that lifestyle. Or details about that career that you never really thought about or you know it's like you're really getting into it all right car alarm going off great confirmation from spirit and um, yeah i hope you enjoy this reading if you resonated i really appreciate a like a comment i would love to know if this resonated and if it was okay if i <laughs> spirit hijacked this reading to talk about like your life and this amazing opportunity that's coming in right now um yeah, I'm really happy for you. I'm really excited. And I would love, you know, to hear more about it if you would, wouldn't mind sharing. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light. Hey, pile 828 with the rose quartz. Let's see how your person is feeling about you right now. <gasps> I know you're my twin flame. Okay. So they know that you are the one you are their deepest truest ultimate highest soulmate level connection in this physical realm that you two are meant to be they came out so like quickly right to the point they know this without a doubt wow okay i can't even look at you right now i feel like they're a little bit i'm getting like that like nice shy butterfly in their stomach kind of feeling um it fell on my rider weight deck this card so i feel like like this deck has been with me since like the beginning it's like my first deck i ever got right um i don't know if i have a lot of new subscribers so if you're the og and you've been with me forever i love you thank you um i wish you all the best in life always and forever but if you're new you probably don't know that um, when I started this tarot card reading career, like over five years ago, um, I had, first of all, I started because I had a dream that I was doing tarot and, and then I had two dreams and I told spirit, I'm like, if you give me a third dream, then I will actually go into this career. And right before that, I had my dark night of soul where I lost my job, lost my, lost my relationship, my home, my savings, my health and everything kind of went crashing and burning. And I had like $25 in my pocket, in my savings, I'm sorry, in my um, checking account. I'm like, that's all I have. You know, everything was lost. And I'm like, I want to take the risk and spend the last bit of money I have that I could have used on like groceries or something on this deck. And it's been with me ever since. It's my deck that like, you know, you can just, I can just pull out and like, I can read people like so quickly. I can read the energies very quickly. Like, cause I've had it forever. If there was a fire in anywhere I was living, this is the deck that I would run out with, you know? Um, so it fell on this deck and that just gave me this kind of feeling of like, I know you. I knew since the beginning. Or at least kind of feeling of embarrassment that they didn't know to the extent, the level that they were their, your soulmate, or um, this kind of overwhelming feeling where they're just kind of feeling a little shy and kind of can't look at you because they're just like a little bit too excited, a little bit overwhelmed. A lot of things going on right now. Let's see. The King of Fire, and it came out in hand. 
they're very excited. I'm getting like their heart ex ex exploding. You can see this heart with this image here. This kind king of fire image. The heart is exploding out of the chest. They're so excited. They're so super excited to know this or to have confirmation of this or to finally know this about you and your connection that you're like, you know, twin flames or have like a very deep, like you're each other's divine counterpart basically. And they're, they're excited. Their mind is going every which way, thinking about the possibilities of the future for the two of you, what this means. Maybe they just went through a spiritual awakening or they just found this out about that like soulmates exist or something like that whatever their level is they're going out of their minds their heart is literally coming out of their body they're so excited but they're trying to keep it to themselves because they can't look at you right now like they're kind of a little bit um shy intimidated overwhelmed excited and extremely in love and all the above illumination yeah so they kind of went through like their own version of spiritual awakening they were kind of illuminated to the fact like they could be not a spiritual person but like i also consider someone who like doesn't know any of this new age stuff doesn't know any of the spiritual terms and just kind of lives out in the middle of the country just farming being close to the land and nature and lives a very fulfilling whole life in a very simplistic way i feel like that person is probably the most spiritual person in the world this person who doesn't even know any spiritual concept they're just genuinely themselves and connecting with nature you know and yeah but i feel like this person just connected to that part of themselves this like their spirit their soul what happens when you connect to your soul or your higher self your highest light to the source energy what happens when you connect to that higher power they're connecting to their soul for the first time or in a very strong way right now they see the other person that's their soul that exists on this physical plane so they see you for who you are they see you as their soulmate for the first time or in a very powerful way for the first time wow exchanging gifts it's coming from their side so i think they want to exchange gifts with you what does that mean so i feel like you may have um offered them an op opportunity to kind of work with you in whatever way they may that may be but that's coming from your side so I feel like you may have offered them an opportunity to come join you, work with the people that you work with, work with your friends, work with your family, work with your company or your business or um, something like that. Go travel with them or hook them up with a charity that you work with, a nonprofit that you work with or something like that. Like you gave, you gave them the opp opportunity to do that in the past and they're now ready to reciprocate and take you up on that offer. The star card, yeah. A wish that was um, lost, I'm getting, is now being found. Like something that you kind of maybe was hoping would happen between the two of you that's bigger than the two of you. So maybe you had dreams of working on some sort of soul mission with this person. So maybe like, you know, um, creating some sort of... Um, class for people or some sort of um, group or event for people or some sort of um, business some sort of charity or some sort of I don't know taking in some something voluntarily something something mission work um I feel like you may have put this idea out there and because it was something bigger than you, you weren't doing it for selfish reasons. You weren't doing it because you wanted a romantic love life filled with hot sex and um, spending a lot of money and, you know, showing off that 
amount of money you wanted to be with this person because you believed in something bigger than both of you and that you felt like this person was on your same wavelength and that you two can do some real good in the world together so because you put that wish out there spirits like the universe is like we're gonna bring that back to you and we're actually gonna bring it back to you with this person unbelievable they're gonna um reciprocate so they're gonna either answer back on that wish or prayer or hope that you put out there um or they're gonna give you another offer opportunity in the same kind of way okay wow so what do they think about your career or your life's work what do they feel about your career or your life's work? Fork in the road. So they may believe that you're kind of at a point in your life that you can pursue something else or you can add another pursuit onto your life or that you're looking to expand and you need another person, another partner or people to work with. Yeah, something like that. And that it's really frustrating for you because you can't find the right people, you can't find the right partner. This might have been something you expressed in the past or even recently. Yeah, <laughs> Five of Swords. Um, it might have lessened in severity and dread and exhaustion and negative feelings but I feel like you however long ago you felt this at first until now there is still a feeling that you haven't found the right partner to work with or you haven't found the right people to work with or that your twin flame wasn't on board with you or your um or you needed more, more than your twin flame. Your twin flame wasn't on board for, with you to kind of pursue this mission and to find other people who will be willing to work with both of you or want to work with both of you have the same mindset. Um, or you found a group of people, but it's kind of still, you feel still kind of unbalanced with it your, without your twin flame. Or you're doing great in your life, you're doing well, you're still pursuing your highest and best dreams, ambitions, and goals, and soul mission, but it still feels off kilter without having the right people. You might have people in your life, but you might not have exactly the situation that you need in terms of people I'm getting. Hmm. Interesting. So how do they feel about your career and life's work? Space. I feel like they um, they gave you a lot of space to cool down, I'm getting. <laughs> um, I feel like you might have been like so gung-ho about working together with them. It kind of scared them off. And now you've kind of cooled down. A lot. Okay, so how do they feel about your friends and family situation? How do they feel about your friends and family situation? Transformation. Okay, so that's the devil card. So they feel like you made a huge transformation when it comes to the people that you have in your life. So that's why they, they feel like you might not have the right people with you because you may have not had the right people around you um, and you kind of didn't make space for the right people to come in. And so they might feel that you might have, you might have just done a lot of inner work in regards to clearing people who aren't right for you and your future goals, um, allowing for new people to come in, including your twin flame, including this um, divine counterpart, including um, other people that can help 
the both of you with your soul mission or your life's goals. Um, so they sense it that you've completed this inner work and that's why they are coming in. Rest. They also feel that you're rested. Not only are you less uptight about not having the right resources, the right people, the right situations in your life. They feel like you've kind of calmed down. You've worked on your patience. You worked on being able to take care of yourself, self-love, self-care. You've been able to kind of work on um, the things that you might have let pass in the in the in the past maybe you are so like if if you're this very spiritual person and you're thinking about twin flames and you're thinking about soul mission and a goal that has to do something bigger than um like has to do with like service to humanity then you're probably someone who was kind of like go 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 all the time and maybe let like some things pat like get behind like um your money situation you know cleaning up your home repairing things um working on your looks um how uh, you know being able to present yourself well into a larger audience be kind you know you might let like kind of the basics or some of the physical things in your life slip and magic yeah They do think you have like this magic personality. Like everything in your life, like they understand why certain people, certain situations and certain things happen in your life. Like it makes you who you are and it's complete magic. Like they might not always be able to do it for themselves. Like they might not always be able to figure out like why certain people are in, the, in their life, why certain family members act the way they do why a certain career or job didn't work out why they, they sometimes can't figure out certain things for themselves but with you it's so easy to, to see it's very clear and it's because you're just a very open and honest person especially with them that you are open and honest about who you are what you learned from what happened what your experiences was what's happened for you and why you want to do the things you want to do they can see you as a person because you're so honest and true to yourself. Okay, friends and family. The lover's card, a breakup I'm getting in order to make up with the right people. I'm getting very strongly. I'll pull one more last card on that because some major comments here. Ten of wands. Yeah, there's a lot of success there. I feel like they feel... You've had a lot of success. You've been as successful as you can with the people, the resources, and the life you've been given. And you're ready to move on. So this is a really profound, big change. This illumination. I'm seeing this arc, this doorway into a more illuminated life. An illuminated uh, soul, soul mission and version of yourself. And... Um, it's probably why this person is coming into focus very strongly for you right now. Okay, so what do, what do they feel about your... How do they feel about your money and material possessions? How do they feel about your money situation? Queen of Air. They feel like you're very organized. You can see how organizing things today financially in terms of um, your material possessions. Like, hey, I have, you know, three jars of pasta sauces. I think I might need two more stocked up just in case after today or something like that. Like, you, you can see into the future and it's, like, easy to see how responsible you are and how um how much of a good team player you would be for anything in life um you add value to any group that you're in or any partnership that you're in and they see that money situation 
pain. They do feel like you still hold on to a lot of pain in regards to your money situation or the material possessions that you have, the place that you lived, you know, what you felt like you lacked, um, what you had to work through, all your experiences that you had. In regards to money and material possessions, um, I, I'm getting like you you took a lot of risks in life, and they admire that. But because of those risks that you took, you had to sacrifice something, and you sacrificed a really luxurious lifestyle or very um, you lived a very modest life compared to um, the people around you or even your upbringing or something like that. In order to kind of pursue your biggest dreams that that's that and these dreams are so unselfish um they very they admire that but they also feel like it makes you kind of binge maybe they see that with all the troubles that you've had with sacrifices you've made in your life it made you kind of binge on some unhealthy habits sometimes um, magician but again the magic is real the magic is here they don't judge you for that at least they don't anymore because they see that it, what what it was all for yeah because I feel like that was a kind of like a conflict before was it a conflict for them? At least you are fun. I'm getting okay. So, because you had an issue with it yourself, you couldn't get certain, you couldn't come to terms with living a very modest, humble life as a sacrifice in order to pursue bigger dreams and goals um you know there are times where you were just kind of such a fun person to be around and so easy to get along with because you said you had such a great perspective on life but you also struggled with an internal battle of not being okay with living a humble and modest life because you're like i'm working this hard i'm being this unselfish why don't i have uh, more money or more material things or the resources that I wish, want, and need for my bigger goals. Okay, so your personality. How do they feel about your personality? Mending. Okay, this is the last card of this Oracle deck. So... I feel, they feel, they feel like they need to mend, th mend things with you. They need to fix things with you. It's the end of a major cycle. Both of you are kind of walking into this completely new life. This huge transformation and they need to fix things with you. Because I'm getting like the heavenly bodies, the heavenly energies are urging them to. Yeah, Ace of Swords to communicate to you, to tell you the truth, to reach out to you, or um, to say say the truth. So whether you're in communication with this person or not, whether it's been a long while, a long time or not, they are being urged by spirit right now to reach out to you, to tell you the truth, and to mend things with you. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups kind of popped up. Too many cards. Okay. Page of Wands. Fool and the two of wands. They feel this. They sense this sense. They sense um, a sense of adventure starting with you. They feel that you are about to embark on a journey, and that gets them very excited because they're like, "Hey, 
This time I'm ready to start this new thing with you. I'm walking through this door. The Fool card and the Two of Wands representing a door. They're like, this time I'm ready to walk through the door with you. I wasn't before, but this time I am. And they sense that you are really ripe for a brand new adventure starting from the get-go. Something you've never done before. And they sense your energy and they're just going to pop into your life. Whether you've been talking to them for a long time or not. Whether you're in a relationship or not. They're going to speak some truth that is going to shock you. How they feel about your personality. Love. They are completely in love with your personality. And this might be a complete shock to you because you might have not been like aware. Of the truth. Between you and this person. And they're completely in love with what you put out into the world and who you are as a person okay so how do they feel about a long-term commitment with you how do they feel about a long-term commitment with you the fates like the star card in reverse this fates reminds me of the star card in reverse um it's even the same number 17 17 they feel like it's faded and it's under this I can't even look at you right now card and this, the king of wands. It's kind of like the king of cups in this deck. Um, they're like, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. We were always meant to come together. We're fated to cross paths again. To come together. Or we're fated to take this next step in our connection. Yeah. page of water they're remembering all this like these fun moments with you you're really fun to hang out with yeah you have your moments where you're kind of like overdo it or where um you're kind of going through things but like they see why everything happens with you you are who you are and they love it they see things differently now. They see you differently now. And they see how valuable valuable your companionship would be. Faith. Yeah. The faiths and faith. So I feel like they have complete faith in this connection now. I know you're my twin flame. I've been illuminated. You know, I understand you. I see you. I love you. No matter if, you know, what happened in the past between the two of you. Things are moving along. Three cups. They want to return that favor, exchanging gifts. They want to be that person that you offered them, um, at least in the beginning, or if you two are right now in communication or talking. Um, you always make it fun and interesting and makes them feel welcome, not judged, and like they can talk to you about anything there's a real true friendship there something to be celebrated not everyone gets along as well as you two and they want to at least reach out to give you at least that the high priestess they have awakened they see the truth right next to magic they see the side of you um this magical side of you because they've been illuminated so now they can finally see who you are completely and they're in love with it they understand what you're trying to talk to them about before and the nine of cups wish granted they're going to bring you a wish granted um something that you offered before in terms of soul mission or something greater than the two of you they're gonna reciprocate that and bring you in something yeah past love interest ex-partner yeah when would they come through with this six so it could be june or the sixth of the month a couple of months so it could be any time from two months to six months from now when you watch this which isn't a long period of time a lot of people that are like oh two or six months is such a long time are you kidding me this is your like your big opportunity in life your divine counterpart a very big 
divine experience in your life that's going to change everything for you to six months you can't wait like come on like, I, I do not like i do not appreciate people who don't have patience if you don't have patience this isn't happening for you if you haven't worked on your virtue of patience which is like the number one thing twin flames need to work on like this is this is that's like level one this is for level 100 twin flames all right no offense <laughs> twin flames who've been on the journey for a long time no <laughs> um four pentacles there we go um if you hold on too tightly out of fear of losing what you already have you'll never be open to the beauty of the new remove remove the guard around your heart and shift out of scarcity mindset to allow your dreams to fully man manifest you or someone you're connected to doesn't want to give up on your relationship see if there's anywhere you're blocking your heart from being open to either giving or receiving and allowing love to flow effortlessly between you both so you might have been holding on they might have been holding on um you just kind of have to let it go release any fear people believe people think that like you have to let go of that person and accept all like you know you have to let go of someone in order to have them fully and then that kind of saying like if you if you love someone let them go if they're truly yours they'll come back to you it's more like releasing fear. You have to let go of the fear. And most people's fear when they love someone or really like them is not having them. So if you can be okay with the fact that you may not be able to have this person, even though they feel like you're a divine counterpart, and be okay that they, that they truly and honestly live their best life or not even their best life, but like kind of live a life that they choose for their, themselves, whatever that may be and you be a part of that or not be a part of that at all like that's releasing all the fear and usually that's when this person the person usually comes back and if not who cares like you're, you've done the healing work you can move on hard said than done right okay one more message for you and then oh the emperor there we go in hand so you got this you got this i kind of knew i'm like the four pentacles and the emperor now, like you're, you're bringing in huge stability and security in terms of your relationship and your career and your resources. Um, it's time to take authority over your life and rise in your divine masculine energy. Life is calling you to act and stand in your strength as a natural born leader. Face any opposition with a cool head and strong heart and you will succeed. Release any toxic energy of resistance and rigid control and lead from a place of example. Your self-awareness and confidence will manifest positive outcomes along your journey. Yeah, it's kind of this point of like, make yourself an example of how to hold yourself and how to have a really divine partnership with someone. And it's funny because I want to start this reading today by by calling out like, I want to say like, oh, welcome, beautiful, divine, spiritual leaders. Like I really felt strongly to say that today, but I didn't. But yeah, I feel like you are a very strong spiritual leader for people, a very good example of how to hold yourself, how to live a life truly genuine to yourself, a life of kindness, love, and service to others in the name of light. And however you understand that, um, you deserve this very powerful like divine counterpart you would you will you deserve to be a power couple and that's what you will receive um as long as you are okay being a powerful solo act believe it be okay with it live it and then divine counterpart comes in so I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, I really appreciate a like, a comment. Um, yeah, especially for this reading, I'm very curious um, how many people still follow the Twin Flame um, terms and ideology, um, or if you've evolved from that, or if you're new to the journey. It'd be really helpful because I used to do Twin Flame readings, um, 
and I I believe there's so much power behind the twin flame journey and theory. Um, a lot of people knock twin flame theories about and such, but um, it's like you don't knock a theory if you haven't tried it, kind of thing. Uh, I know a lot of the tarot card readers say like so many mean things. It's just like who are you to talk about uh, someone else's spiritual journey? I understand that that it's not the healthiest thing for a lot of people, but you know part of the journey is trying to. F- try out different kinds of um spiritual practices and spiritual theories and figure out what works for you what doesn't and like whatever like judge yourself not others all right so (laughs) or not even judge yourself so yeah then a lot of people uh i think a lot of these people who um knock the twin flame journey um are like embarrassed or ashamed of it or something so like they're judging themselves really harshly for maybe believing in it at one point or something and then feeling stupid or something like that it's like no like the twin flame journey no matter how much of it you believed in it or not it's it's such a powerful tool um to advance your growth and and yeah for a lot of people you wouldn't do half the things you have done if it wasn't for the motivation of being with the right partner. A lot of people are relationship and love motivated. So, you know, don't, you know, yeah, it's not cool to kind of wait on someone for like years to live in a different country and maybe dating someone else and you're just like kind of suffering. But sometimes that suffering brings a lot of illumination and you only you can bring yourself out of that suffering by freeing yourself but a little bit of that suffering will help you evolve and see where you can improve and evolve and there's so much that comes with the twin flame journey i can go on and on about it because i've mastered it i basically did a master's in it anyway i'd love to hear your thoughts on the twin flame concept now as my og subscribers and new subscribers both And I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light.